The Director General of the World Trade Organization, Ngozi Okonjewela, said she is disappointed in the European Union's export authorization scheme for COVID-19 vaccines, saying that she was talking to the bloc about this measure. The European Commission said on March 11th that it had extended the mechanism set up at the end of January as a reaction to vaccine makers' announcements of delays in deliveries to the EU to the end of June. So whilst we understand the politics of what they are doing, I've said openly I'm disappointed, particularly in the fact that they extended it from March. March 31 had been the declared stop and now it's been extended to June. And I'm actively talking to them about how we can make sure that this restriction is, is uh, dealt with. So we need to listen to what uh, uh, the developing countries who are asking for a waiver are saying. We need to dialogue with them and find ways of accommodating their concerns uh, on, on intellectual property, whilst also making sure we do not disincentivize research and production. Emerging and developing countries, excluding China, are projected by 2022 to have cumulative per capita income losses as high as 22% versus 13% in advanced economies. In other words, even as we go into the next year to be much worse off than before the pandemic hit. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.